This is an unprecedented fire season here in California. More than 4 million acres burned already, not to mention the homes and the businesses and the lives lost all throughout the West. So what is driving all of this? Really nasty, Brent. They're called very large air tankers. These flights over flaming hillsides are now a common sight. And you're clear to drop. Because there's no denying it, uh, these fires are becoming larger, more destructive, and more frequent than ever before. Things will burn hotter. The fires will be more aggressive. <laughs> the glass fire in Napa Valley is now nearly 70,000 acres. In the past, a fire a third that size may have happened once a year. This year, we're looking at multiple 300,000, 800,000, 200,000 acre fires. These are huge swaths of California that have burned this year. But this is one of those recurring nightmares. For example, 56 years ago, the Hanley fire burned through wine country. Then in 2017, a repeat from the Tubbs fire. Same area, different climate. That fire in 1964 took three and a half days. What the same fire in 2017 took three and a half hours. What's going on in California is really the result of all of the factors climactically and uh, as humans coming down to ground zero uh, in a really, really dangerous way. It's dangerous because so many more people are moving into the woods. According to FEMA, there are 41% more homes in the fire zone now than there were in the 90s. Areas that could have naturally burned in the past have to be quickly put out by these firefighters. And right now, California's windy season is just getting started. Diablo and Santa Ana winds could easily fan this destruction right into next year. It's not just land use planning. It's not just more staffing. It's not just more defensible space and more vegetation management. It's more of all of those things. There's simply more heat available these days. In the last five years, there's been an increase in temperature in the overnight hours. That allows the trees and the leaves to get super crispy and ready to burn when the blazing sun comes out in the morning. In Santa Rosa, California, Dave Malkoff, The Weather Channel.